Live. And we're live. We are? Yes. According to the Sling Studio. There we are. There we are. Oh dear. Hey Taylor. <laughs> I just saw that you were watching. <laughs> Hello. 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 Taylor, are you gonna watch YouTube? I can watch Facebook, Taylor, if you wanna watch YouTube. Leslie says hi from Buddha. Is that a person? Ah, uh, yes. And a also, place? I think of Grand Budapest Hotel. When you say Budapest, I think of the song from uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. George Ezra. Yes, 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 yes. That's a great song. Totally. Hello, guys. Hi, Heather. Hi, Erica. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Kelly. Danielle says, so great to see us on live. We're in our usual yes, set. Our wonderful set. Hopefully nothing weird is going on in the background. I think I checked everything. You never know with us. Yeah. We did misplace our blue seven up two liter bottle. Did so. we really? Yeah. How uh, could we lose that? I have no idea. I think someone cleaned. Brock threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Danison says he loves my Magnolia sweater. Thank you. Nice. I like it too. Danison, starting with compliments. Way to be. Oh, Leslie says it's pronounced Bayuda. Still don't know where that is. <laughs> <laughs> well. Still never heard of it, but that's okay. Agree to disagree. <laughs> Tiffany asks, how the, how's the baby? Baby's good. Still there. He's still there. He's growing. He is the size of a grapefruit now. About a pound in weight. Interesting. Yeah. He's doing good. That's awesome. Still a boy. We just had the second ultrasound. That's exciting. It is. Sometimes that changes on you, you know? That is true. Okay. What time are we at? Should I start getting focused about we're at why we're here? Hold on. Let me cough really quick and then I'll... <coughs> <coughs> okay. Sorry. I have a little bit of a cold, so I'm sorry if my voice is a little... Nasally, I don't know, rough. Flemish. I really love it though when you lose your voice. Do you love it when your yeah. voice? Because I feel like, cooler. You feel so cool yeah. and like deep. Like I've probably been smoking cigars for the past twenty years. <laughs> it's and like I've how been would you even know? This is studio. the first time you talk to me. You would have no idea. Am <laughs> exactly. I a smoker? Or am I not a smoker? <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome everybody to Let's Make Art. Thank you so much for joining us for this little live that we're doing. So we are painting our Let's Make Art matter postcard for October. So just to be clear, October is for uh, Donna and Lauren. That's our Make Art Matter for this month. Um, if you received your November box, that is for Emma and this is not that tutorial. So don't get confused. Please don't Please. get confused. It actually doesn't matter because you can paint whatever you want, but I'm just saying this one is for our October. And this is what we're going to be painting. Um, on our postcards and pumpkins. So nice. Festive, I thought. Do I, for Let's Make Art Lives Matter, Lives. Yeah. Do I do oohs and ahs? Do, I mean, what Always do we do Always ooh now? and ah, whatever I show you that I painted. Ooh. Thank you. Ah, Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, Becky says, so excited. Lauren is my cousin, and they are already receiving so many beautiful postcards that are hanging all over their room. That's so nice. That's so great. I love that. And Becky, I'm so glad that uh, Lauren's receiving them and Donna, and hopefully they're bringing them a smile. Now, um, Donna and Lauren are in the Ronald McDonald house, and Lauren, I, and I'll probably pronounce this wrong, but um, <clears throat> he's battling Fanconi anemia, uh, which is a bone marrow disease. So... 
That's scary. It's a bummer. Yeah. And um, so they're there. That's where the postcards are going. That's where we're going to send. And we're going to send them some pumpkins. Again, you can paint whatever you feel like on these postcards. This is just a little tutorial where, one, I could show you something fun to paint. And two, if you don't know what to paint, now you know. Also, I would like to say that you might be really nervous about painting something and sending it to someone you don't know. But let me tell you, as someone who has received postcards from you wonderful people, it's so great. Whatever it is you paint, it's so amazing. And this is one of those activities that it's really fun to get your kids involved. It's fun to get family and friends involved because it's just taking a moment and doing something for somebody else that you don't know because we're all in this together. That's what this is about. Connection. We're here for each other. We support each other. That's what we're doing. So we are going to use two paintbrushes, our round six and our round two, usual ones. And I'm just using our travel palette from the October subscription box. Um, the liquid watercolors, if you've watched any of the tutorials, I list the equivalents there, but I'll just be using the pan saints, I mean pan <laughs> sets <laughs> for this tutorial. And we're just gonna do some pumpkins. Okay. Sorry, I'm just seeing if there's any questions, but so far we're doing okay. Should be good. So we're just gonna do this in um, three steps. So our very first step is we're just gonna freehand the pumpkins. Um, they're very loose. And also pumpkins are all different shapes and sizes. So I'm telling you, there is a pumpkin out there that looks like whatever you paint. So don't stress that there's no outline. And then we're gonna put in the ground and then our leaves and our um, stems. So I'm gonna use my round six for my um, pumpkins. Yes, Keenan. Are we gonna be doing an oath? Do we do oaths in front of Let's Make Our Matter? I don't think we do. I don't know. I feel like it's your job to know. Well, <laughs> technically, you've been doing this longer than me. I guess that would be me. my job since I'm the one that dictates what goes on in but. a tutorial. <laughs> I don't think we do it for Let's Make Our okay, Matter. that's fine. Blanket statement, be kind. I'm, like, I'm checking the comments yeah. to see if people yeah, are going to correct me because I'm like, I could be totally wrong. <laughs> do I do it? Does anybody I know? I don't think so. Okay, we can do it. And we have lots of people in the room, so you guys have to take this oath with me. Yeah. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I promise to be kind to myself. I promise to be kind to myself. I promise not to compare my work. I promise not to compare my work. And I promise to have fun. And I promise to have fun. Good job, you guys. All right. Thank you. We have a few of our wonderful workers back here in this room, and I'm, glad. I'm so happy they did it with me. Okay. So to make orange, we're just going to mix our yellow and our red together. Now, I'm going to be honest. I just mix right on the, can they see this in the overhead shot? my palette. Yeah. Um, I just mix right on top of it because that's how I do things. But you're free to use these trays to mix. I just always have them dirty and I'm not very good at cleaning things. So I just solve problems as I go. So it's like those are taken up. I'll just mix on my tray. Okay. As a side comment from me. Yes. If anyone that is watching would like us to be closer to the project, let us know. Yeah, if you want close-ups, just give us a little comment because yeah. we have our close-up camera yeah. ready. But also the overhead cam, I feel like it can go in a little closer. So if that would be helpful, let us know. Okay. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start with our first pumpkin here. Now I would like to say this is your painting. You can absolutely change it or make any adjustments as you see fit. If you decide that four pumpkins, if you paint your smaller than me and you have room and you want to do more, do more. If you only want to do two pumpkins, just do two. Totally up to you. Now when you do pumpkins, I paint it section by section because pumpkins have those um, crevices. Is that the right word? Crevasses. Cre crevasses is crevasses. actually how it's pronounced. Thank you, Keenan. And I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to start with the, m the middle section. So it's going to be slightly rounded on each side. Like so. Now it's not going to a point because if it was going to a point, then that would actually make um, a ball. And these ones, even though they're round, they're kind of more like this instead of uh, like, I wish, let me see if I can show you 
the difference in points. So that's if you make a point, if you give it a little kind of rounded top, it's gonna have more of that pumpkin shape, okay? So there's my first layer. And because we are mixing these colors, your oranges are gonna look different than mine and that is okay. And then I'm gonna do the section right next to it. And Kina, why don't we do a close up? Okay. Starting. So I'm just gonna go on the other side and do another curved line. It kind of follows the curve that I set on my first section. And I'm gonna leave a thin white space in between the sections. That looks nice. Oh, Melissa, that's a good, she said, it's a pumpkin versus an onion. Oh. That is a good, or a I'm, shallot. I'm familiar with <laughs> shallots. Which I have a hilarious video of where my husband dared Keenan to eat a shallot raw and he 100% did it for $20. It was the most <laughs> disgusting thing I've ever eaten. So anyways, we like to talk about onions and shallots over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I'm just gonna do this section to the right. Same thing, I'm gonna follow that same curve that I set out with my first section. Leave a thin white line. And remember, because you laid down a mark, doesn't mean that you can't make adjustments to it after. So every time I'm painting, if I see a little section where I'm like, oh, I need to straighten that up, or I'm gonna make that a little bit longer, you absolutely have the freedom to do that. Don't be afraid. And then, <laughs> Leslie said, don't take on that challenge with garlic. It's not worth it. <laughs> he probably would. I would. He really I mean, would. I I don't know what a shallot is still. I just know that it burns and it's not yummy. Shallot is like if onion and garlic had a baby, I feel. But I feel like garlic would be super spicy eating that raw. I'm just having memories. <laughs> okay, Flashbacks. focus, focus Sorry. back. <clears throat> um, and then I'm gonna do one more to kind of round it out. There, and then another one here, okay? So again, I'm following the curves off either side, leaving really thin white lines. If, if you accidentally lose your line on one of the parts, it's not a big deal. This is a more illustration style um, pumpkin, so it doesn't have to be super realistic. Okay, that's our first pumpkin. And now we're gonna move on to our second one. It's initially gonna be that same thing over and over again, um, but you can change up the length of them and the width of them to get different pumpkin sizes. So our next pumpkin, I'm gonna do um, this little guy right here in the front. I'm gonna have it slightly to an angle because I like having my pumpkins going different directions. It kind of creates um, more of an active composition, which means it feels like it has more movement. Whereas if they were all standing straight up next to each other, um, that would be, um, I wanna say passive, but I don't think that that's an accurate description, but it would just be a calming, uh, it wouldn't have as much uh, implied lines, like it would just be more still. Does that make sense? Composition, because they're not angled. Yes. So you guys can decide whatever you wanna do. Okay, so I'm gonna have it leaning slightly to the right. So here's my middle section. And then it's gonna be smaller. So I'm only gonna do three sections and I'm gonna make sure it's nice and rounded on these sides here. Like so. Donna says static. S oh, static, that is the word. Thank you, Donna. Yeah, static composition, which would mean still. Great word. Okay. Can you go back on the uh, close-up, Keenan? Yes, I can. All right. So there's our two pumpkins. Now, uh, for my next pumpkin, I'm going to add a little bit more yellow and a little bit more water to get a different orange, just because whenever you're painting something, you usually want to switch up your values and your colors just for visual interest. You don't have to. That's just something that I choose to do. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to lighten my value and then a little bit more yellow. And then this pumpkin I'm gonna have like taller. So I'm gonna do my middle section first here, kind of curved. 
and then do the curves around it. Now again, pumpkins are all different kinds of shapes and sizes, so really have fun with this. Real quick while you're painting, I think yes. we should clear one thing up real fast. Yeah. Sarah and I are not married. <laughs> Sarah did is somebody say to baby Michael? Did somebody say baby Keenan again? No, but that was one part of the reason from the last live. Someone asked. Someone said, "Hope you didn't have to kiss him after you ate the shower." Oh yeah. So I was like, "Huh." It's okay. Common yeah, misconception. Fine. Yes. Keenan and I are not married. We're just friends. He has a lovely wife named Suzanne, who I'm very good friends with, and I have a wonderful husband named Michael, who also sometimes films tutorials, which yes. it's why it can be confusing, and he's been on a live before yes. a few times, so sorry about that, guys. Okay. So there's my, pump, my lighter pumpkin, my yellower pumpkin. And I'm just going to do one more on the right hand side. And this one, since these two are leaning to the right, if I did that another pumpkin also leaning to the right, then that would make my composition, it would make your eye really go off the page because that would create three very strong implied lines. So I'm going to have it slightly angled the other way because I want your eye to stay within the painting. So then that way they're kind of like going like this. And this one I'll have more closely resembling our first one here. And then if you want it to the pumpkin to be more turned towards you so you see the other side of it a little bit more, the sides are going to go up a little bit more. And then you're just going to do little top sections on the other side just to show that there is another side to this pumpkin and it's going around the other way. Okay, so you see how this one looks more like we're totally um, eye level with it. And this one is turned towards us because we can see the hint of the other side. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> He was just deep in thought about something. <laughs> okay, so those are our four pumpkins. You're absolutely free to do more or less. Um, now I'm going to do the ground. So I'm just gonna grab some green here. Now the green in our palette for October is a pretty vibrant green. So if I were to lay that just straight down, um, it might read really yellow, which is not bad. But sometimes what I like to do if I want to tone a green down is I'll add a little bit of, um, you can add a tiny bit of red to it or even a little bit of blue. So it just depends on what kind of green you want. I'll do both because why not? And I'm just going to add color right underneath the pumpkins and then I'm going to rinse my round six and use only water, pull the color that I already laid down and put in the ground. Now remember when you're painting grounds on objects, you're going to go up and around the objects too because the ground continues behind the pumpkin. So a lot of people usually just do a perfectly straight line right here and I want you to know that the earth keeps on going behind an object so that's why I bring it up just a little bit. You don't have to go all the way. If I was doing a really realistic painting I would go all the way but this is still kind of illustrative so not all the way. Okay, that's step two, congratulations. We're gonna move on to step three and do our stems and our leaves. So we don't have brown, but we can mix brown. Brown is just dark orange, so I'm going to make orange by mixing yellow and red. And then I'm gonna introduce a little bit of green in there and blue, and that will make brown. So, and stems are also funky shaped too. So some of them kind of angle off. Some of them are little stubs. Some of them have like vines attached to them. It's up to you. You can decide how you want your pumpkin stems to be. I'm still using my six, but if you have a hard time doing smaller marks, you can switch to your round two. 
which I'm going to do for my leaves. And I'm just gonna grab some green. Um, now pumpkin leaves are um, a little bit wider and um, pointier. So I did a couple that are like the usual leaf shape because I just like that shape, but it's not totally accurate. Um, so if you want a little bit more accurate ones, they kind of have like sharpies hanging, sharp points hanging out. They're wide and sharp like that. And then I had floating stems of leaves coming up out of my pumpkin because this is my painting and I can do whatever I want. You don't have to do that if you don't want it, but I think it's cute. And sometimes they have like a little vine attached to them. You can get, you can, you guys can have all sorts of fun with different shapes of your vines and things. Jessica says she just lost video. Is that just Jessica or is that us? That's probably just Jessica. Our quality is still good. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Jessica. Everything is still on and functioning. Okay, so I just added my last leaf. Again, you guys can make this your own by um, adding anything you want. You can add text. Um, and I just, I know that this is a really hard place to be. It's vulnerable painting. First of all, it's vulnerable just painting anything. It's really vulnerable painting something and mailing it to someone. It's really, really vulnerable doing that to someone you don't know and also somebody who's going through a hard time. But I have learned that um, when people are going through a hard time, um, I don't always know what to say. And we put a lot of pressures on ourselves to say the perfect right thing when I've realized that there's not really a way to say the perfect thing. But um, just knowing that we're thinking about somebody and that we care about them um, is enough. And so maybe I don't have the right words to, to tell someone what they need to hear, but I can take a moment out of my day and paint something for them just so they know that they're not alone. And that's the whole point of this. That's what we want to do with Let's Make Art Matter. So that's it. Um, if you have no idea what we're talking about, if you're a subscriber, you get a little info card and a postcard that's pre-addressed and pre-stamped so we can all paint something for someone and send it to them. Um, you do not have to be a subscriber to join us. You can absolutely do this if you message our customer service team, hello at letsmakeart.com. We will share with you the address so you can still participate. Um, and if there is someone that you would like to nominate for this, you can do that at our website. Just go to letsmakeart.com, scroll down to the Let's Make Art Matter section, click on that, and there, scroll down again, and there should be a little button that says nominate here. If you have trouble, email our customer service team and they will help you. And remember, um, it, this can be for anything and for anybody. It's really helpful and thoughtful when somebody's going through a hard time, but sometimes we just want to celebrate people too. So maybe, maybe it's your number, neighbor's 85th birthday, or maybe you just see someone that you just, they, you know, they, they just, you feel like they just need a little extra love just because, you know what I mean? Like maybe you want to show gratitude to someone. Anybody can be nom nominated for this. So um, just think about how you can help someone else that you know, and please take the time to do this because it's just a great thing. I it makes think. you feel so nice. It does. It really yeah. does. Um, announcements. November boxes are shipping and have mostly shipped, right? I think they're all shipped. I'm looking. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at our customer service. <laughs> um, so those should be on their way. We'll be releasing our no first November tutorial next Wednesday, so keep an eye out for that. And another really fun announcement is that we have a new website design that's launching today. I know, I'm so excited. It looks so good. It's gonna be launching around 4 p.m. So just, you know, keep an eye out. You might see some things on there about future things. Oh dear. That we're working on. Oh dear. That are so fun. So um, you guys take a peek at that. We're really proud of it. It's beautiful. And um, 
I think that's all I got to say. Thank you so much for painting with us. Keenan, you're great. Thanks Thank for you. joining us. Everyone else here in the back room, you're really great. And um, take the time to do this. Um, take the time to think of someone else and to show them that art can be um, really a wonderful way to connect. That's what we're trying to do. So that's it. Bye.